Hello all, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to discuss on a very important topic related to generating the dump files whenever a particular application crashes. Therefore, we might have already deal uh, we might deal with we might have already dealt with many of the dump files or we might be dealing with on a day to day basis if we are actually into application maintenance side because whenever a particular application crashes the reason why that particular uh, application crashed is captured in the dump file as a screenshot therefore we might be able to recover the reason for the application crash from the dump file therefore it's it's imperative to know how to generate a dump file and how to analyze a dump file for a particular software developer so here we are going to see how we can create a dump file in windows therefore in windows application so we might we are already familiar with what is a dump file means this is a post from my blog this is a, one of my blog post so i will pin it pin it in the comment section before we might already know what is a dump file dump file is a file which gets generated by debugging engines which can which embeds information related to the state of the application during the failure or crash to which debugger is attached to therefore whenever a particular application crashes and whenever a debugger is attached to the particular application it generates a dump file which captures the state or the context of that application so that at a later point in time we can do a post mortem of the particular application crash and we can actually figure out the reason for that crash the reason may be the reason for which that application might have crashed may be different it might be due to invalid memory access or invalid handles which are present in that particular application so those are the main reasons for the application crash here we will be mainly focusing on how to create a dump file whenever a particular application in windows crashes so it can be user defined application or it can be a system application also so here we will be going to see uh, how to generate the dump file here we will, our focus area will be on creation of the dump file so that is the first stage uh, for analyzing a particular application crash the first stage will be to create the dump file and second to analyze the dump file then for there there are different ways of creating the dump file if that particular application is running and it it is it has not yet killed but it is not responsive the particular is not in a responsive state or it is not responding to user inputs or user commands then we can actually generate the dump file manually using the task manager i'll just show you the example how we can generate the dump file we just open the task manager and if you go to the details the process details tab and just right click on any of the ap application and there is an option to create the dump file just click on the uh, create dump file button it will you will see that the file has been successfully created the dump file has been su successfully created for any of the application which is running in the windows whether it may be user defined application or it can be a custom or system application also it is a file that dump file is located in this particular path so that's the manual way of creating the dump file when our application is running and it became not responsive for quite some period of time and we, we might uh, we need to see the state of that particular application whether what is the current state what is happening within the application therefore we can just see that by manually creating the dump file and try to see what is happening and there is another way of creating the dump file that is automatic creation of the dump file or auto creating the dump file for that particular setting we had to do it in the registry how to create a dump file automatically so for that you have to go to this particular path local terms that path is as highlighted in this particular registry 
computer hk local machine software microsoft under microsoft you have to go to windows and under windows you have to go to windows error reporting and local dumps if that particular local dumps folder is not present you have to create that local dumps folder and you have to create these keys which are present in this particular uh, subdirectory of that folder local dumps folder therefore it actually defines the parameters associated for creating a dump file therefore what are the custom dump flags which needs to be set how many dump count should be stored in that particular output folder therefore the dump folder is d dumps therefore it will store almost 10 dump files at a time so that is the dump count and the dump type whether it is a mini dump full dump means how much debugging information should be present in the dump file if you are going for a full dump then that uh, dump type will change accordingly so this all flags flag values will be present in the msdn document msdn document regarding the uh, uh, what is the meaning of these values will be present in the msdn document i will be that particular link to that msdn document is present in my blog post therefore you can go through the blog post and you can click on the msdn link to check out the registry entries which are required for creating the uh, auto for creating that dump file in an automated fashion fashion i'll be linking this uh, post in the blog uh, in the video comments section for why once this particular registry entries are created you are good to go this particular windows will take care of creating the dump file for you if we will just see with an example how it can be done for for that i have actually modified a particular program to throw exception once it launches a main program where it just throws an exception therefore i will just try to start this particular application yeah, it throws throwed an exception therefore we will go to the that folder path which you saw in the registry that ddumps if you go to the ddumps you will be able to see the dump file which got created therefore since we ran in the debug mode we just without debugging we'll try to run and see whether that particular dump file is recreated or not yes it got recreated since we ran it in the debug mode once it got, didn't get created once we ran it without debugging it got created that uh, this correct timestamp current timestamp it got created and you will be able to see the reason for the crash by analyzing this particular dump file. Therefore, that's how this particular dump file got created automatically. <clears throat> the main thing is you have to actually set the registry entries properly. As I already told, the registry path is uh, Windows Server reporting local dumps. You have to set these values and you, you can go through the msdn document to see uh, what all the values which will which is suitable to you you can actually modify these values according to your use case or scenario so that's about uh, automated way of generating the dump files so coming to the blog post This is a blog post which I was talking about auto generating the dump file. So, we have seen an example also how that particular automated generating of dump file is created and what are the registry settings to do. So, that's majorly what I wanted to cover in this particular video. And for the second part, coming to analyzing the dump file there is a 
good utility provided by Windows, that is WinDBG, to analyze a dump file. But I actually found this new version of WinDBG particularly useful while analyzing the dump file because it provides a good UI and visual uh, context it provides. Earlier it was mo mostly, previous version of WinDBG was mostly command line based. Where you have to type different commands and it will just show in a black and white screen what are the errors or what are the exception details and you have to do a lot of manual stuff so here it is all kind of a gui based uh, windbg they have created and it looks pretty convenient to use that's what uh, i i felt by just using this particular windbg and it is available in the microsoft store if you go to this microsoft store and you can download the windbg preview which is actually pretty good UI provides and you can install it and try to use that. So that's about the on the analysis front. And before we have discussed to just sum it up, we have discussed a manual way of creating the dump file using the task manager. And there is an automated way to creating the dump file using the Windows Error reporting local dumps. So that's the two ways of creating the dump files. I hope this video you would have found it useful and do share with your colleagues and friends if you found it useful and do subscribe to this channel and do share your thoughts in the comment section so that it will be very much useful for me to improve uh, in the coming videos. Thank you.